Hi everyone, welcome to the beginner's guide to AutoML natural language processing with Google Cloud Platform. In this video, we will discuss what is AutoML, what is text classification and why do we even need it. What are the different use cases, natural language API versus AutoML, machine learning development process, and why we are choosing AutoML and how to prepare the data for AutoML. How the data is used to create model, evaluate, test, and how to use the model. And finally, Google AutoML pricing. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then subscribe it now because you will be getting more videos on natural language processing in future. Google Cloud AutoML enables a developer with limited machine learning expertise to train high quality models specific to their business needs. So we can build our own custom machine learning model in minutes instead of days. AutoML automates the time consuming iterative tasks of machine learning model development and it allows data scientists, analysts and developers to build machine learning models with high scale efficiency and productivity all while sustaining model quality. Google has integrated AutoML with their platform and named it Google Cloud AutoML. So in simpler words, AutoML handles everything in the background for us and provides us the best model for our dataset with optimized hyperparameters. So the question is, why do we need text classification? Imagine your business has a contact form on its website and every day you get a lot of messages from the form and many of which are actionable in some way. All these messages needed to be assigned to a different people because different people handle different tasks within your business. It would be great if an automated system could categorize them so the right person sees the right message. Or if you are analyzing social tweets and you have to read all of them to understand what people are talking about your business. So you need a system that can categorize all the posts and the tweets so you can create analysis based on the categories instead of reading all the social posts or tweets. Google Cloud AutoML provides many solutions for text analysis. There are a lot of use cases of natural language processing, but Google Cloud AutoML provides three types of NLP models. First is text classification. By using text classification, ML model can categorize service requests from your website or IT tickets. So whenever you receive a ticket or a request, it will be assigned to a responsible person. It can also categorize social media posts, tweets, reviews, and documents, which will enable you to understand text data and create analysis. In normal cases, you can read few hundreds or maybe a thousand posts or reviews, but NLP will enable you to create insights on hundreds of thousands or maybe millions rows. Second is sentiment analysis. You can assign sentiment to a social post, complaint, or a customer feedback. This will enable you to easily understand how many people are posting positive or negative about your company or a product. If you do the text classification and sentiment analysis both on social media posts or customer reviews, then it will allow you to create amazing insights. Third is entity extraction. You can use this to extract laptop specs, phone numbers, or email addresses from text. So let's say you have joined a Facebook group or a website forum where people are talking about the laptop specs and you want to get the data from there and extract the laptop specs. You can use entity extraction for that. Or let's say your company has posted an offer on social media and asked the users to share their phone numbers and email addresses on chat or on comments. You can either copy the text one by one from all the comments or the posts or you can use the entity extraction model to extract the information. Natural Language API is based on the generic models and these models are trained on the data from all the categories and these models don't produce highly accurate results. Natural Language API is good for you if you have generic data and if all the categorization sentiments are acceptable for you. But Natural Language API doesn't allow any tweaks or the custom labels. But by using AutoML, you can train model on your data which will produce much better results and you can also define your labels which are meaningful to you. Before looking into AutoML process, it's better to understand the machine learning development process. There are five steps in machine learning development process. Step one is gathering the data where you get all the data to train your machine learning model. Data quality plays the most important role in the success of a machine learning model. So you need to be very focused on this. Step two is cleaning the data. This step includes removing empty data, removing special characters and creating extra columns, which is also called feature engineering. Step three is building and choosing the best machine learning model. This step requires experience in multiple machine learning tools and models. Step four is using the machine learning model to predict the labels for your data set. And step five is visualizing the data so business users can understand it easily. 
So what's the difference between machine learning development process and AutoML? With AutoML, we just need to provide the label data to AutoML model and it will handle everything including cleaning the data, choosing and building the best machine learning model and model will be hosted on Google Cloud and we can use it using API. It makes it so much easy by saving a lot of time in machine learning development, deployment and accessibility. If AutoML produces good accuracy, then this is the easiest and the quickest way to develop machine learning model. There are few things that you need to keep in mind while preparing the data for machine learning model. Assess your use case. Data should be collected and processed differently based on the use case. Prepare and collect the data. Consider keeping the high quality data and ignore unknown messages. Define the label or the categories. List down all the categories that you want to assign to your text data and then assign the label to your data for training the machine learning model. Google Cloud AutoML requires at least 10 examples per label, but it is highly recommended to have 100 examples per label for good accuracy. AutoML natural language automatically uses 80% of your data for training, 10% for validating, and 10% for testing. Training set is the data your model sees during training. It's used to learn the parameters of the model, namely the weight of the connection between nodes of neural network. The validation set is also used during the training process. After the model learning framework incorporates the training data during each iteration of the training process, it uses the model performance on the validation set to tune the model's hyperparameters. The test set is not involved in the training process. After the model has completed its training, AutoML Natural Language uses the test set to test the accuracy of your model. There are different ways to evaluate the machine learning model. I will not go into the details of each evaluation method. But if you want to know the details, then subscribe to my channel because I'll be creating videos on each evaluation method. Google Cloud AutoML Evaluate interface will show you the evaluation on these methods which will help you to evaluate and do the fixes to your machine learning model to enhance accuracy. After you have created a model, you can request the predictions from the model. A prediction occurs when you submit a document to the machine learning model and ask it to analyze the model according to the objective for that model. Objective could be classification, entity extraction, or sentiment analysis. AutoML Natural Language supports the both online predictions where you submit a single document and model returns the analysis synchronously. And the batch prediction where you submit a collection of documents that the model analyzes asynchronously. You can use the Google Cloud interface to get the prediction for your text or you can also send the post request through the Cloud API using different programming languages including Python, Java, Node.js, Ruby or any other language. Finally, the pricing for AutoML Natural Language Processing. If you are creating a model that classify PDF documents, then the data upload for first thousand pages is free each month. After that, it will charge $1.5 for every thousand pages. And if you have more than 5 million pages documents, then cost will be reduced to $0.6 for every thousand pages. Training the model will cost $3 per hour. Predictions for text messages will cost $5 for every 1000 messages, but it will cost $25 for every thousand pages for PDF documents and there will be $0.05 per hour cost for deploying the model on Google Cloud Platform. For classification models, the average training time is around 6 hours with the maximum of 24 hours. For entity extraction and sentiment analysis models, the average training time is 5 hours with a maximum of 6 hours. So let's assume you are developing and hosting a model for one year. And there will be additional cost if you are training it multiple times for improving the accuracy or to do some tweaks. If you get approximately 10,000 messages each month, then it will cost $50 per month or $600 per year. Deployment cost will be $36 per month or $432 per year. So total cost for machine learning model will be $48 for the first time. Then there will be $86 cost every month for predictions, assuming 10,000 text messages every month and total yearly cost will be $132 for this machine learning model. And this cost doesn't include data upload fee. Thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting new videos on natural language processing on my YouTube channel.